Grammy-nominated artist Nicole Scherzinger was once best known for being the lead singer of the Pussycat Dolls. But these days, she's proving that she's more than just a pretty face. From her humble roots to her multifaceted musical success, here's why Nicole is seriously turning heads. Nicole Scherzinger was born in Honolulu, Hawaii in 1978. And after her parents split up, her mother got married again and the family relocated to Kentucky. There, her mom worked as a clerk and her stepfather worked as a welder, which makes Scherzinger's early aspirations somewhat of a surprise. She told The Independent, "...no one else in my family was creative, a performer. Maybe it was God's will? I just knew that it was going to happen." Scherzinger seemed to sense she was gonna hit it big in showbiz when she first heard one of the greatest singers of all time light up the airwaves. She said, "...the moment I heard Whitney Houston sing, I realized that that was what I was going to do as well." I used to sign all my yearbooks in school. Remember me when I'm famous. When I perform, when the lights and stuff are on me, I'm in a whole nother world. But while you might be tempted to think that Scherzinger is eager to flaunt her success, she says she's quite the opposite at her core, thanks to her upbringing. She told The Guardian, "...I was very conservative. I had really strong religious beliefs." While she cultivated her spirituality in part to please her mom, Scherzinger said she still attends church on a regular basis. The singer also admits to being something of a perfectionist, revealing, "...my mother said when I was a little girl, if I colored slightly outside of the lines, I would rip the page and throw it across the room." While Scherzinger was harboring dreams of becoming the next Whitney Houston, she embarked on a winding path to Hollywood, and that was all thanks to her mother's influence. Scherzinger told The Independent, "...my mom saw a commercial on TV saying they were looking for the next new girl group and insisted I audition. I said no, that I was in this great acoustic goth band, and I was also studying theater and music at college." Nicole's ultimate dream at the time was to be a Broadway star, which didn't exactly jive with a TV show. Still, she had no choice but to give in to her mother's wishes. According to the strategy, this was a potential way for her to make it to Los Angeles, where the real work could begin. Here I was this little local girl from Hawaii who grew up in the South and, like, never even only dreamed of go going to Los Angeles. Scherzinger landed on the 2001 show Pop Stars, winning a spot in the girl group Eden's Crush. But that was just the beginning. While Eden's Crush proved to be Scherzinger's first break into the industry, the group was short-lived despite its modest success. And it wasn't much later that the singer managed to land an audition for the Pussycat Dolls. She told The Guardian, "...I don't have a good memory, and I remember that audition like it was yesterday. They were rolling their eyes anyway. They only let me take two steps into the room." Fortunately, Scherzinger wasn't phased by the harsh mood, and she went on to nail the audition. She added, "...I pretty much sang an original song a cappella, standing next to the door. All I had to go on was my talent for singing." Scherzinger was ultimately tapped for the group, which became world famous in the mid-2000s for catchy hits like Don'tcha, Buttons, and Beep. While some people might have dismissed the Pussycat Dolls as just another pretty girl group, Scherzinger says the reality was quite the opposite. And she credits herself as being instrumental to the group's global success, telling The Guardian, "...they had their perfect candidate right here because I am a workhorse. I just rolled up my sleeves, got in the studio, and turned out these records." Scherzinger says she put so much blood, sweat, and tears into the Pussycat Dolls albums that she feels she was more than just a singer on someone else's songs. She claims, "...I pretty much executive produced those records. That music felt like my music." When you're not sleeping, you're not eating right, you always in each other's face, like you breathe in each other's air 24-7, like you can't really enjoy it. Despite their massive success, after roughly six years together, Scherzinger confirmed that the Pussycat Dolls officially disbanded in 2010. While the Pussycat Dolls were cranking out albums and performing for fans all over the world, Scherzinger was quietly suffering on her own with bulimia. She later revealed to Cosmo, "...I had started losing my voice. I couldn't sing at shows, and then I remember my manager finding me passed out on the floor." Fortunately, the singer took the scary incident as a wake-up call and got help. It was then that she was able to regain control over her life and her health. She said, "...it's sad to see how I wasted my life. I had such a great life on the outside, the dolls were on top of the world, but I was miserable on the inside." Scherzinger has since vowed to never let her eating disorder control her life again. 
I would tell my younger self that you are perfect, just the way that God made you. Scherzinger believed for a long time that she was destined to be a successful solo act. She was already working on material when she went on tour with the Pussycat Dolls in 2005 and was still deep into it two years later. She told Entertainment Weekly in 2007, "...I've been working on trying to get a solo deal for 10 years straight. Now that it's crunch time, I'm scared. I hope people get me. I hope they see the truth and the heart of what I do." And hopefully people find this album just honest and relatable. But despite her best efforts, none of the singles that Scherzinger released while under contract at Interscope were nearly as well received as the music put out by the Pussycat Dolls. Eventually, Scherzinger ended up shelving her album, Her Name is Nicole, in 2007. Even though Scherzinger's solo career never really found its legs, that didn't mean she was out of the game. She eventually dropped her debut album, Killer Love, in 2011, which was fairly well received, making waves on the UK singles chart. She also tried her hand at acting that year, playing the girlfriend of Boris the Animal in Men in Black 3. You are much more unconventionally handsome than your photos. Then in 2012, Scherzinger landed a coveted spot as a judge on The X Factor alongside Simon Cowell. She appeared on the show for two years, but wasn't invited back for a third season. At the time, she revealed to The Hollywood Reporter, "...well, all I know is that I gave 110% to that show. I know everybody's talking about it. They're saying good, bad, they love me or hate me, but the one thing you can't say is that I didn't give it my all." I don't know what all the smack talkings about because I thought that was freaking shamanic. Scherzinger would later be tapped for season 9 of The X Factor UK. After Scherzinger learned that she wasn't going to be invited back to The X Factor, she got the chance to cross off a major item on her bucket list. She shared with The Hollywood Reporter, "...last year I sang Phantom of the Opera for the royal family and for Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber, so that reignited me to want to be back in the theater again, so I think I'm gonna do some more theater work this year." Scherzinger then went on to star as Grizabella in a 2014 production of Cats on London's West End. She was even nominated for an Olivier Award for her outstanding performance, proving that Scherzinger really has what it takes to step onto Broadway. But the actress got into a bit of a kerfuffle with Cat's creator and iconic composer, Andrew Lloyd Webber, when she bailed on the Broadway revival at the last minute to return to The X Factor. At the time, Webber said via Playbill, "...I'm furious because I really believe she's the most fantastically talented girl, and I went out on a limb to get her. But never mind, there'll be another girl on Broadway, and Nicole will not get her Tony Award." I just hope that what happens is that she decides now that she'll uh, really go for a real, real Broadway theatre career. She's uh, a one in a million. Despite her talent on the stage, one thing that Scherzinger has struggled with over the years is her love life. She explained on The Jonathan Ross Show in 2016, "...I've probably matured a little later in relationships and in my life because I started working at such a young age." For a long time, Scherzinger was in an on-again, off-again relationship with Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton, often appearing on the red carpet together. But the couple officially called it off permanently in 2015. The singer added, "...I think it's quite natural when people separate and go their own ways. You just have to be adult about it and just always wish the other person happiness, success, and love. Like, sincerely. And I do." My girlfriends are always like, "...honey, it's your pretty years now. Come on, get it together." Even though she said she wishes the best for Hamilton, she admitted they are no longer in communication. In 2016, Disney released Moana, which featured a Polynesian girl who dreams of exploring the oceans. And Scherzinger knew that she absolutely couldn't miss out on it. She shared with Pop Sugar, "...I am of Hawaiian descent, so when I found out they were making a Polynesian-inspired Disney movie, I was like, I have to be a part of this." I knocked down Disney's doors to let me audition and make sure I could be a part of this." I was like, oh my gosh, get me in the room! I want to be a part of it in any way, if it's doing music, whatever." Fortunately, the execs at Disney heard her request and cast her in the film. She added, "...it was awesome and it worked out and now I am Moana's mother in the film." Scherzinger said she was thrilled to see Disney make a movie about Polynesian people and emphasized how important proper representation can be.
While Scherzinger has led a charmed life in many ways, she has not been immune to tragedy. In October 2019, Scherzinger's cousin, John Frederick, was killed in a hit-and-run accident in Florida, devastating the family. She shared with The Guardian, "...it's just a horrible thing that I would never wish upon anyone else, and it haunts me every day that we have no justice for him yet." The shocking loss also caused Scherzinger to do a bit of a reflective deep dive on her own mortality. She said, "...nothing else will ever happen to you because you're dead, and that's a huge awakening because that means you get one life." Scherzinger posted a tribute to her cousin on Instagram, pleading for the perpetrator to come forward. It appears that The X Factor isn't the only reality show that Scherzinger has been a part of over the years. She's also a fixture on the hit competition series The Masked Singer, which she once referred to as the little engine that could. She told Entertainment Weekly, "...we just knew that it was massive and bonkers in Asia and an internet phenomenon on YouTube, but for it to have really gotten its legs here and to continue to break records with the amount of viewers, it's been mind-blowing for us." And she's not wrong. Over 23 million people tuned into the show after the Super Bowl in 2020. Scherzinger also says she feels right at home on the judges' panel, referring to her fellow stars as family. She said, "...we love our job and it's not like going to work. It's just going to have fun and hanging out with your friends." So, you guys do seem to like each other. We do, it's real. <laughs> it's actually not fake. In 2020, Scherzinger's long-awaited wish finally came true when the Pussycat Dolls reunited. And this time, she says she was in a much better place, as opposed to her life back in 2005. She revealed to Glamour, "...that is one of the reasons I was excited for us to come back, because now I can actually be present and enjoy it as it goes past so quickly. We are all meant for great things and great purpose. We should instead enjoy life." This is two words, major, right now, okay? <laughs> The ladies dropped a new track in February 2020 called React, which has amassed tens of millions of views on YouTube and have a comeback tour in the works for 2021. Scherzinger has even dipped a toe back into the dating pool, big time, with former rugby player Tom Evans, according to her Instagram. With the way this next chapter is going for this talented beauty, we can't wait to see what she does next. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.